guys, it's Liz here with my mixed media obsession. Um, and today I'm actually going to do um, a basics video. So I've been quite curious. Um, I did see some newer glues out there. They're probably not super new, but um, I'm sure we all have our favorites. If you don't have your favorites, hopefully this helps. Um, I am going to be reviewing um, some of the glues that I have here. So they are liquid glues that I'm reviewing right now. Um, not tapes or other means or glue dots, things like that, but, uh, strictly liquid. And I just wanted to kind of show you what the results are and go from there. So hopefully it helps you out. So if that is something you're interested in, stay tuned and, uh, let's get started. Okay, so um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I did, I took one of the new uh, number five size tags uh, that came out with the Tim Holtz ideology line, distress line, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I took a paper doily because it's actually a thinner material, as we all know. So it tends to rip tear um, very easily or perhaps even show through whatever is on the back. So it's very thin and at times could be translucent depending on how much glue that you actually use. Um, that being said, that is kind of what I did. And I put that on there on each different tag um, and glued them down with um, about the same exact amount of glue for each one in the same exact pattern style. Um, so that's kind of how I decided to do this. I adhered it to there and then to show the bubbles and such that came from the liquid glue, I went over it with a pigment ink, uh, this case, Victorian velvet. Um, so you guys can actually see the difference in texture, the bubbles, things like that a lot easier. So, um, I will say there is a difference between all of these glues. You would think that a typical paper glue, such as Eileen's Tacky Glue. Let me see if I can find that for you real fast. Okay, well, Eileen's comes in a gold bottle and it is a it comes in a gold bottle and it is a PVA glue. Um, your typical regular paper crafts kind of glue it takes a little longer for it to dry. Um, they do have a fast drying uh, version of it as well. Oh yeah, it's right here. Um, I was looking for the gold bottle, which is her original tacky glue. This is the quick dry tacky glue. And I got it not because it was <laughs> quick dry, but, but but because of this handy dandy lid to where it's always ready to be able to adhere. You don't have to, you know, wait for it to come to the tip for you to be able to use it, shake it, things like that. It's always there. It's always ready for you since it's, you know, sitting inside that lid. So that's just a regular PVA glue. It does say premium, all purpose, it, all purpose adhesive, adhesive, um, quick drying and fast tacking. So, um, I've used this for tons of projects, but I have noticed that it does create bubbles or warping in the paper, um, just because it is a water-based, uh, product. So that is another one as well, but I'm actually reviewing all the others just to kind of see, um, they aren't brands that I have used all the time per se. Um, they are newer to me and I just dropped by and got these as well. So these two are new. Uh, this one is only a few weeks old. Um, but other than that, yeah. So this is a little bit thicker PVA glue. Great for, you know, paper projects, things like that. Embellishments, um, little small things. But if you plan on using a bunch of it, you're definitely going to see this bubbling and warping that you see when you adhere paper to paper so or paper to you know cardstock whatever so keep that in mind all right so um first up what i did is i used my two new ones so the first one as you can see is going to be the eileen's clear gel tacky glue 
Um, it definitely is a gel substance, um, kind of kind of sticky looking when you're adhering it. Um, it's also as well premium all-purpose adhesive, dries crystal clear. And it does, which is great. It comes in, a, I do believe it might have a larger bottle. It does have like a trial bottle as well with two other glues uh, that you can find at Michael's. Um, but yeah, so this does apply kind of gelish. So obviously it's a gel glue, but um, it is sticky. And it does dry crystal clear, which I do like. However, um, the consistency isn't as good because if you're trying to adhere it to the paper, um, because it is that gel material, I noticed that it kind of um, could have the potential of actually ripping the paper if you aren't careful. That being said, I did add it to so this is kind of all over, not warping, I would say, but almost like a, a wave. So if you possibly do not add as much, maybe it won't do that. I will test, but I wanted to use the same amount of glue on each one to kind of keep it consistent. Um, so yeah, I went back over it. It's kind of wavy. Um, but as you can see, it's not something too awful bad. It does feel somewhat smooth, so that's good. Again, that is the, the clear tacky gel glue by Aileen's. And then on the back, I used the other new that I got. So I wanted to try something other than Fabri-Tac because we all know that Fabri-Tac can be very expensive. It is an amazing glue. Um, it is a solvent base, whereas a lot of these others are all water based. So this bottle is also from Eileen's Fabric Fusion Permanent Fabric Adhesive. So um, I used that hoping that maybe it would be an alternative to the Fabri-Tac. However, yeah, you definitely have some bumps and wrinkles and it did kind of warp the paper. So um, I have yet to try this on fabric. That will be the next test that I do between all of these. Some of these obviously aren't fabric glues, but just to try to do it across the board to see how well it does work. I'm gonna try that also. So again, this is a fabric fusion. So don't get it confused with the fabric tack. It does definitely create those bubbles, and wrinkles, things like that. Now, if that's something that you're looking for in whatever project that you're doing, great, use it to your advantage. Um, and I will probably do that on this one as well and kind of embellish it, but yeah, so. Next up is the Fabri-Tac. So I wanted to kind of keep this in the middle kind to, uh, to kind of show how it goes across and back down again um, to where it's actually showing wrinkles and bubbles and things like that. This here is for me, it's actually from the um, ink tool that I was using, so that was my mistake. Other than that, Fabri-Tac leaves a completely smooth surface. Only thing you really got to be careful about is getting it on a project because it's not matte. Uh, it does have a slight gloss uh, effect to it once dry, but it's perfection. You don't have to worry about it buckling, warping, bubbling, whatever. Um, it just, it applies effortlessly. You don't have to use a whole lot of it. I did use the same again to be safe. Um, but yeah, this is why we pay $14 for a bottle or more. So, um, I was hoping to find an alternative to that. So hopefully maybe sometime in the future we can have an alternative. If you know of one, let me know. I'd love, I'd love to go get some. So, um, lastly is a bottle of glue that I am very, very fond of. It is the Art Glitter Glue, um, dries clear. It is called Designer Adhesive. Permanent, water-based, non-toxic, dries acid-free. So there's no yellowing to your projects. However, um, it does leave those warps and bumps that we see on the others. 
And then another good thing about this is it does have the precision tip here. So that is nice. And then you have a pen that you can insert it. I do believe they do have a smaller bottle. Um, this doesn't come on there. It comes in a separate little bag with some, I think, two pens. You would actually just screw this off um, to add the precision tip. If that's not something that you wanted to use, you can just take it off and leave it at the, the regular tip. So, and lastly is a new one for me. It is Barely Art Precision Craft Glue, um, non-toxic, dries clear, precision tip. So this one also comes with a um, little bag that has a storage lid on it as well, which would help, if, especially if you're in drier areas um, from your product drying up if you're not using it every single day. I will say that this kind of is a more smoother kind of consistency than the art glitter glue. Maybe it's got more water in it, whatever the case may be. Um, it is a nice glue, but when it comes down to it, uh, I guess it just kind of depends on what your preference is. Whether or not you want to have it more liquid so you can spread it around more on whatever project that you're using, or if you want it kind of um, more tough and in a more stickier consistency. So this, as you can see, you can actually see all the detail from where I added the glue on this one. It's not just intermittent bubbles or warps. It is actually in the shape of the D that I did. And then I kind of went to the center of it. And that's how I actually try to keep it consistent. But yeah, you can see all those bubbles, warps, and exactly where the glue is. So you wouldn't think that when you have a craft glue. But yeah, it's showing everything, which is very disappointing. So um, five glues. And really only one that I would say is kind of the best when it comes to not showing those bubbles, warping, things like that, because it is a solvent-based glue. Um, they do have another one called Fabric Fix. I do believe you can also use that on leathers, etc. I have not tried that one, so I will also put that down with um, some other glue options just so we can kind of see how that goes also. But yeah, so this one also says the same thing. So I'm not sure exactly what the difference is between the Fabri-Tac and the Fabric Fix, so I will also find that out. But um, it's $14 a bottle. $14. So because it is a solvent based and not water based, it's not going to cause those bumps, ripples, or warping. Um, Cause we all know if you add water to paper, it does impact that. And it can actually change the state of the paper to a mush and back to pulp. If you are not careful on how much glue you are actually using. So um, I will say I'm a little disappointed I was really hoping to find an alternative. I would say the closest to it is going to be the fabric fusion, just because it's a little bit smoother, just a little bit, but I still think that it's causing some type of wrinkle in the paper when you add it. So, um, yeah, I'm sure I can use all of these on my projects depending on what I'm doing, but um, I really wish we had an alternative to the Fabri-Tac. So uh, again, if you guys know of one that is a solvent-based glue, uh, let me know. Another thing I wanted to try um, is rubber cement to see if that helps um, with the warping and bubbles and things like that. So we all want to make sure that our projects are professional and pleasing to the eye. And this, these just aren't. They just aren't. So um, I hope this helps when you guys are trying to start your journals. If you're new to journals or projects or card making, whatever that may be, um, hopefully this helps you guys. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for all my future videos. And 
hopefully I will see you guys next time. So have a good one. Thanks.